All right, you guys, so let's just jump into everything. I have three palettes in front of me, and we're gonna be doing our eyes first. I have the natural face as well, and we're definitely gonna play with this. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. The packaging on these is so beautiful. So I totally had to grab my other Too Faced palettes. You guys know I'm a diehard Too Faced fan. I have so many palettes from them. And I had to grab these because these are the first edition natural eyes eyeshadow palettes. So this one right here, it's in more of like a cardboard packaging. And clearly I really, really loved the shade Nude Beach Honey Blot and Silk Teddy. I love it. This was one of my favorite palettes like ever. I love this palette so much. And I did stop using it because I started using other Too Faced palettes that I liked better, but you can see here draws on the back. This is so old. I've had this forever now. And I thought it was really cool that I kept this because I can show you guys the progression from here to here. So as you can see, the packaging has really, really stepped up luxury. It has a luxury feel to it. So this one definitely feels like more of an affordable palette and this feels a lot more luxury and it feels nicer. So I really love the way it looks on the outside, but the shades are still classic. Like I still see colors that are in here that I loved that are in the new one. I'm excited to see how they perform in the eyes, but there's basically the same shades in here. Even the ones that are not named the same name, they're the same exact color. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these. I just love the print that is actually on the shadow. It has a beautiful lace print and this literally kills me to rub into this and ruin it. Swatches are like, ugh, they're not my favorite, honestly. I get so upset because I'm like, this palette's so pretty and I'm gonna rub my fingers in it and ruin it and it's just, so pretty. This is Heaven. This is like a matte shade. It's like a matte off white. Next we have Cashmere Bunny. This is Cashmere Bunny. And this one is a beigey tan shade. Perfect for the crease. And then we have Sexpresso. I love the shade because you can really deepen up the eye with like a dark brown like this. So I'm glad that's in there. So I'm gonna swatch Silk Teddy. This was like my favorite shade. Ooh, it is so pretty still. I love it. So that is Silk Teddy. Next we have Push Up. These names are super cute. Okay, I love. Ooh, okay, I love it. This is Push Up. And next we have Erotica. This is like a metallic deep brown. So next we have Strip Poker, and this is a matte. I missed out on this one. I didn't know it was a matte, but it is. It is a nice neutral color. And now we have Honey Pot. So if you guys have watched the Ariana Grande makeup tutorial that she's like doing her eye makeup, it is literally the funniest, cutest, and best thing ever because she's just kind of doing it like, not like a beauty guru. She's just doing it like a regular person would do their makeup, like totally not being educational. She's just doing it. And she's using the Honey Pot eyeshadow from Too Faced. And I love this color so much. This is one of my favorites. So this is actually what she wears. She wears this one and I believe it's Cocoa Puff. She had like the duo one. That's like an old one. If you have that one, you know what I'm talking about. She wears Honey Pot on her eyes, just so you know. I don't know if she does anymore. That, that video was a couple years ago. Honey Pot is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love. Ooh, I love this one. This has to be like my favorite eyeshadow from Too Faced is Honey Pot. Chocolate Martini. That's like a dark brown, but it actually has some sparkles in it as well, if you look closely. It has some gold sparkles. So now I'm gonna quickly swatch the Natural Matte with you guys. So this is all matte eyeshadows. The Natural Eyes did contain some mattes, but if you're like super into mattes, and I feel like you'll really like this one, so I'm just gonna quickly swatch these for you guys. Ooh, these palettes. They smell really, really good. I don't know how to explain it. They kind of smell like chocolate, but not. They just smell super, super good. So I have Heaven, which is the light shade. It was actually in the Natural Eyes palette that I just swatched. That was the first shade. Next we have Less Is More. This is a really nice crease color. And then we have Sexpert. So Sexpert is like a dark brown. This is Nude Goals. Ooh really, really light. So next we have Cleavage. Love this one. I feel like this is definitely more of a mauve transition. And then we have Risky Biz, and Risky Biz is pretty deep. So I noticed with these darker ones, they're a little bit more patchy, but we shouldn't have a problem with those because typically I just use those to darken up the look and I'm not really placing that color all over the lid ever. So here we have Lace Teddy. Next we have On Natural. Ooh, this is like a perfect transition. This is a really true transition color. I feel like this is 
something that's a neutral that will go with anything. Now we have Hookup, and Hookup is like a true warm, dark brown. So those are the last three shades. So I'm first gonna prime my eyes, and I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion, and this is an Eden. I have been loving this eyeshadow primer. You guys know I typically don't wear eyeshadow primer. I usually just do concealer, but this I've been really, really loving. So I'm just gonna blend this all over my eye, all the way up to my brow bone. So I'm gonna be using my brush set with Sigma. So if you guys didn't know, I've collabed with Sigma on my favorite brushes, and I have five of my favorites in this set. I'm gonna link it down below for you guys to check out. I have a full video dedicated to it, and I will also link that below. The first brush I'm gonna use from the set is the E40 Tapered Blending, and we're gonna be using the Natural Matte Palette first. And I'm first gonna pick up the shade Aw Natural, this one right here. Oh, they smell so good, these palettes, okay. So I'm just going to blend that shade into my crease. And I'm just starting in the outer corner, laying the color down and then just blending inwards with it. I love that there's like a nice warm brown in the mattes palette. And I'm just going to lay this down into the crease. And I'm concentrating this in the outer V, so I'm actually like smudging this along the lash line and then blending up into the all natural shade, but just keeping it right in that outer corner. Ooh, I really like how this color is blending on the eye. When I swatched it, it was a little bit patchy, but it's really blending really nicely on the eye. I'm not really having to do too much to get it to blend. I'm using my E54 brush and I love this brush for the outer corner because it's not as fluffy as the E40. It's a little bit more dense, so you can really pack on dark colors, but still blend them out. And I love that it's not like too, too much blending. It just keeps it right in the place that you wanna place it down in. So now I'm gonna take my E55. This is my third brush in my set. And I'm gonna pick up the shade Risky Biz. And this is Risky Biz, it's like a dark brown, almost has a hint of like a purple in it, it's really pretty. And I'm just gonna start stamping along the lash line, like almost doing like a wing liner, but just with the brush. And I'm just placing that right down on the lash line and then winging that out. And then I just thicken it up a little bit by smudging it out with the brush and I just smudge it upwards into everything like that. I always feel like if I don't add in some sort of liner, just like a little tiny bit, my eyes are just not emphasized enough and I love making my eyes look long and still keeping the shape. So I always add in a liner, even if it's just with a shadow. So I'm just kind of stamping this on. So I'm just grabbing the shade Risky Biz and I'm applying it to the outer corner of the eye into the outer V and I am just doing a V shape and the brush I'm using, this is the E44. It has a round tip to it, so it's really nice for really going into the crease and rounding it out. So I'm just kind of going into the V shape and then I'm bringing it out and up into the crease. And I keep my hand pretty low on the brush, pretty low so it's nice and soft and the blend is just super seamless. When you lightly, lightly press, into the crease like this, just barely touching your eye. So as I am using my brushes, I use this clean, sweet makeup brush pad to clean the brushes off. And literally, I have this brush here. It has a little bit of that crease color on it. I just go in and I rub the brush in this and then it's completely clean after and I can dip into any color. So going into the Natural Eyes palette, I'm so excited because I love this color. Honey Pot, we're going to place this right into the center of the lid. But before I do that, I'm actually gonna spritz my brush. But I just like to take a little bit of MAC Fix Plus and spritz the brush like that. And I'm just gonna start applying this right into the center of the lid. So beautiful, I love this color. So I'm just applying this right on the center of the lid. And you can see spritzing that brush really makes it super metallic, almost like a liquid eyeshadow. And I'm using the E55 to really pack this color on and blend it right into that outer V. So now going back with the E54, this is the rounder tip brush. I'm gonna pick up Sixpresso and I'm just gonna tap off the brush. This is a really pigmented dark brown and I'm just gonna blend right over that gold and really define the crease. And I bring it all the way through into the 
the inner part of the eye. And now I'm gonna grab Heaven, and Heaven is actually in the matte palette as well. I just wanted to mention that. And I'm just going to place this right into the brow bone area and blend out. So going in with the E44, I'm gonna grab the shade Silk Teddy. And this is such a pretty, kind of like champagne, pinky inner corner highlight. And I'm just gonna pop that right in the inner corner of the eye. And I'm just applying the shade Silk Teddy right over the shade we placed in the brow bone, Heaven. All right, so I popped on some super fluffy lashes with this look, and now we're gonna finish the lower lash line. So I'm gonna be picking up the natural matte again, and I'm gonna grab the shade Less Is More and smoke out the lower lash line. This is like my signature thing that I love doing with pretty much all of my looks is I love smoking out the lower lash line. Really, really smoky. I'm now gonna grab the shade Hookup, and this is a more rich, warm brown with the same brush, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start to blend that along the lower lash line. And this is a great trick if, yes, you do have under eye bags, but if you also have smaller eyes, this totally makes your eyes look so much bigger than what they are by adding more shadow underneath. And now I'm gonna grab the shade Risky Biz again. We're basically doing kind of similar steps to what we did on the top, but also on the bottom. I'm just gonna take Risky Biz and I'm really applying this super close to the lash line. And then taking my E40 brush, I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the outer corners. So now I'm gonna go ahead and line the waterline. I'm using the KKW and our Henny's collab. And this is the Comic King liner. And I'm just gonna go ahead and Place this right into the waterline and I love, love these sticks so much. And now I'm just cleaning off my brush again super quickly. I'm going to grab the shade Honey Pot, this one right here, and I'm just going to place that right along the lower lash line, but I'm keeping it pretty close to the inner corner of the eye. All right, so now I'm going to pop on the Kush Mascara from Milk Makeup and I'm going to coat a little bit of those top lashes as well as the lower lashes. I feel like without mascara on my lower lashes, I literally feel naked, like I need it. And I've been loving this mascara. It's really, really good. You can totally stop here, but you guys know I'm extra and I'm obsessed with glitter. So I'm gonna be using the Glitter Pop Peel Off Eyeliner from Too Faced. This is in Lucky Bitch. I love these names. Too Faced is so sassy. I'm obsessed with all of their names. So this glitter is super easy to use. You literally can just paint it on. And if you do use it as a liner, you can totally peel it off. But when I use it like this, I just kind of subtly put it over the lid. Subtly, totally not subtle. When is glitter ever subtle, honestly? I'm obsessed with glitter. So if you wanna be extra like me, then add glitter. And you can keep adding and adding and adding more and more glitter, or you can be pretty subtle with it. But honestly, I just keep adding it on until I see a full-blown glitter lid. Don't let anybody tell you to stop applying glitter. We don't need those people in our lives. We need supportive people. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit onto the lower lash line. All right, so I am loving the eyes. Let's move on to the face. So Too Faced has launched four new bronzers. So these are reformulated and they are super smooth and buttery and they smell so amazing. And I am so in love with this packaging. So this is how their packaging has changed. I love, love the new packaging. I think it's so pretty. I have Dark Chocolate Soleil. So this is for deeper skinned beauties, and I think it's beautiful. I love that there is a variation of the bronzer, so everybody has their own bronzer that suits them the best. We also have Chocolate Soleil. This is another one that I really like. This is for like light to medium, I would say tan as well. This is pretty universal. I think anybody can wear the Chocolate Soleil, but depending on what your skin tone is, Sometimes you might have to go a little bit lighter with it if you are more fair because this is pretty warm. We have Milk Chocolate Soleil, and this is for more fair skin. I do use this even though I'm not fair. I'm more like light medium. I do use this bronzer because I feel like it's really hard to mess up with it. It's super light that you can keep adding and adding and really build on it. So I'm gonna be using 
the milk chocolate one today. So Sun Bunny is really nice because this is not a matte bronzer. This is actually just two double bronzers inside. You can see how beautiful that glitter is in there. There is really, really fine shimmer as well. This is a very pretty shimmery bronzer that you could put all over your face and body. So the difference between a matte and a shimmer is with matte, you wanna to stick to the contour areas and with shimmer, you can really place this all over the face for an all over bronze glow. Sorry, I'm passionate about bronzers and they're like one of my favorite products so I know a lot about them. Made with 100% natural cocoa powder, wow. I'm gonna be using my F40 brush, this is in my set and I love this for contouring because it's nice and angled and you can really chisel out the face with it. So I'm just gonna dip in. See how beautiful that print is, it says milk chocolate soleil. And I'm just gonna start wiggling this brush into the hollows of my cheeks. So I start out like this, and then I kind of flick it sideways up into the temples, but wow, I really like this color, this bronzer and everything, it's really nice. I also go along, whoop, my hoop earring is going nuts over here, but I go along my jaw, forehead of course, so what I notice about the new reformulated bronzer, because I do use their normal bronzers like in the past, I've used them for so long, so I know them really well. These feel so much more soft in my opinion. Like there's something about them that just feels so much more buttery and I do prefer this one over my old one. So I'm gonna be using this one a ton more, but I do really, really like really, really like it. So I'm gonna take, let's see here. I'm gonna grab Sun Bunny, and this one you can use all over your face, neck, body, because it is shimmery. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this right to the center of the face. So now we're gonna jump into the natural face palette. This is so beautiful. I love all of these bronzers in here. There's blushes and highlights. This one called Sunny Honey definitely looks more like a bronzer to me. So you can definitely use this to bronze up the skin, but there are three blushes and two beautiful highlights. Wow. I love like the lace imprinted on these. So pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the shade Pink Wink. Ooh, that is super pigmented. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm tapping this brush off because that's a lot. And I'm just gonna go on the apples of the cheeks. Okay, that is really pigmented, but it's really pretty. So I'm still using the F40 brush. I didn't clean it off or anything. I just like to mix it in with bronzer and blush because I feel like it gives the best diffused color when like everything is mixed together. Ooh, I really like this color. I think it's really pretty. There are some more plummy colors in there, but typically I like to use more pinks, so that's why I went with Pink Wink, but this one called Trop It Like It's Hot is really pretty. This has like a shimmer in it, and Pink Sand is more of a matte as well as Sunny Honey. So we have two highlighters here. We have Starlight and Satin Sheets. These both look almost like duochrome highlighters to me, like they have a hint of pink or champagne in them. Like they look so just unique to me. They don't look like a typical highlighter. So I'm actually going to mix both of them and I'm just using this on the same brush I've been contouring with and blushing with. And I'm just taking it on the tip of it and Ooh, that's pretty. Oh my gosh, I love these highlighters. They're so gorgeous. Wow, that's pretty. Okay, I'm definitely gonna be using this highlighter more. So the thing about this highlighter is it has a really strong kind of golden glow to it. It's not overpowering though, if that makes sense. I really like mixing both of them together. I think it's super pretty, but it has a natural glow to it. It is so hard to explain, but it's not super beaming, but it's so beautiful. Like I just really, really love it for those natural looks. If you're more into something like subtle, you will really, really like the highlighters in here because they're just really glowing and soft. Look at that, look at that highlight, it is so beautiful. I can't really say that it's not beaming. It is, but it's just beaming in a different way. It is a lot softer, but still very glowy, and it's such a unique glow. I really think it's so beautiful. There's like no chunky glitter in it or anything. There's no glitter. It is so skin-like. So I have the full range of their new natural nudes. So I have all of the shades and all of these colors are nude. They're all a variation of nude, which I think is so nice because everyone has their own nude that fits them perfectly. And there is so many different choices in this collection. There is a total of 10 modern neutral shades. They are eight hour long wearing color, bold nude colors infused with our coconut butter complex that helps keep lips soft and moisturize. So I'm actually gonna mix these two. I'm gonna mix birthday suit and nip slip. Birthday suit is more of a pink and then nip slip is more of a kind of warmer brown. So I'm gonna mix them together to do the perfect 
nude lip. Ooh, I love this color. This is a really nice kind of brownie nude. These are really soft too. Ooh, I already really like these. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a birthday suit in the center. So I'm gonna quickly set my face using MAC Fix Plus. All right, you guys, so this is my final look using the Too Faced Natural Love Collection. So I'm gonna give you guys my standout products that I think that you should totally get if you are looking to purchase something from this collection. So I have to say, out of the eyeshadow palettes, we have the Natural Matte and Natural Eyes. I would say that you should purchase the Natural Eyes palette because there are mattes in here for you to use. There's also shimmer, so you get a little bit of both in this palette. Now, if you really are more into mattes and you don't ever wear shimmers, or if you're like me, you wear mattes and glitters a lot, then I would say go with the Natural Matte. But you definitely don't need both. I would first off go with the Natural Eyes just because you get your metallics and shimmers and you also get mattes in here and you don't really need to get both. So I would get this one it is so pretty. I love, love this eye look. I think it's gorgeous. And I love this palette. It worked so beautifully for me and it smells amazing, like so good. I also really, really loved this natural face palette. I think this is totally something a person could use every day for any look because you have a highlighter. You actually have two highlighters, which I personally really love. And I like that there is a bronzer in here as well as three blushes. So I would say you could skip out on the bronzer and just get this because there is a bronzer already in here and you're getting so much in here. It's $14 more than getting this bronzer, but you're also getting so much more in it. So overall, this collection was such a hit for me. I love everything in it. I think it's so beautiful and I'm glad I got to share my favorites with you guys. I think this is wearable for literally anyone. If you go to work, if you go to school, if you are just looking for a really natural everyday look, this is so perfect and ideal.